right so right now i've arranged this the way i'm going to connect them as you can see here's the positive side here's the negative so to make it to be in series the positive side has to face this place then followed by the negative then positive so during the connection i'm just i'm going to show you how they are all connected to make up uh, the 12 volts all right so let's go but first of all i'm going to insulate this place because you know the motherboard will be touching this side so i'm going to insulate it so that i won't have any short circuit so i just apply this fiber tape to it again then so we are done with this and how this is going to be is here will be our main negative this side then as i've done you can see this is a series connection the positive side of here is, is being jointed to the negative side of here so what you are going to do is that this positive side now will be jointed to this one if you take it to this a short circuit to your core and this is what we call spark and it's very dangerous for this type of cell so i hope you can see how the movement is this will be our main positive from here to this uh sorry the main negative is here this is the negative that is zero volts then to here 4.2 volts then this series connection if you should i should put my voltmeter here there and here is going to give us what 8.4 volts I swear this the, the battery is fully charged but for now let's see what you are going to have let's see what you are going to have you can see 8.33 so you're on the right track so what is remaining is to complete the series connection by joining this one with this one once you've done that you should have what 12 point that is 12 point six as the, as the full vote so let's complete that and see what we have and meanwhile if you are not conversant with building little my own cells it's advisable that you find something and cover this side so let me just show you so that I will make a mistake. Find something like this. It's a masking tape. It's okay. Use this masking tape to have this side covered so that whatever you do will not cause short circuits. Hope you can see that. Okay. So let's move forward. So you just check you can see the way the connection is so it must pass like this
can see now this side is connected already so we have our main positive group here this is our main positive group then this is our main negative which i actually sealed so let me open it up and then use my vote meter to show you so we have now created a, a 3s lithium ion battery for our laptop power bank okay so let me just show you with this uh, digital voltmeter so as you can see here is our main positive then this was the one I did before so we are having 8.34 to this way so you can see it has been jointed that is this series uh, connection we did here so let's see what is going to give what are we having here we are having 12.54 bravo if you do yours and you are you have what this voltage then you are on the right track so you can see we are we have what 12.54 so we have the 12 volt version of this uh, list on my own battery so what is remaining now is us to transfer this into this space into this space that we have here that is what is remaining so stay on and then i'm going to show you how you are going to do that this is what we have okay so you can see all right and then i'm going to connect the cables now so that i see how everything will play out all right so right now it's time for me to fix these cables this is the main negative cable this here is the main positive cable then this this is for b1 b1 means that it will go to the first uh the positive side of the first parallel group that is 4.2 volts then this is b2 it will go to where you have what 8.4 volts uh, these are the balance three so i'm going to connect them right now without wasting much time so let me thin this So this B1 should go to the this part. So this one is the, is for the B2, which is going to be connected to the 8.4 volts out of this battery. So still going to turn. So let's see if it's working. It doesn't break light. So what are we going to do? We are going to check to see if we made any wrong connections.
so let's check again and see if it will on voila you can see our laptop power bank is on so what happened there was that here that you had a uh, b1 this cable right here that shows a uh, b1 here yeah. you supposed to go to the 8.4 volts but i i misplaced it and i placed it at 4.2 volts which wasn't supposed to be so so the only thing remaining right now is to put this inside the case and then start using it Add the screws you just put in this four screws here and then screw it well right now I think we should just test and see and see so let's try to charge it and see because so this is the charger 12.6 volts charger I believe you can see it that's what we'll be using yes once it gets to 12.6 volt it will stop automatically so you plug it in here sorry that's the output here is the input you plug it in it should indicate so you can see the blue light which shows that it's what is connected so i'm going to plug this to the power mains and then let's see I plug it in but it's not charging why because the battery is already full as you could see that time we had 12.54 so the battery is already full so once you have used this I will do what I will charge it up again <laughs> 